Hi guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to make macarons. This is what it looks like when it's finished. So today you must have um, two same size of clay. And if you want the one with different colors in the, um, you know, the center, you can have it. It's like you can have this one that looks like a cookie, cookie dough, something like that, or just a plain white. It's up to you guys. But, so the first thing you need to do is you make sure that you have the same size of clay. Some people, they use the egg thing where you, they, they cook the egg or they put the egg on top. I don't have that one, so today it's manual. So bear with me and I will teach you how to make this so first as I said you need to have a same size of clay it must be the same size of this so once you got the same size of clay you just push it with your hand palm like this and you make sure it's not really flattened and you form it like a dome like that once you have that one you have the same size over here so you make sure that the top and bottom are the same I mean the size like that so have the same size here we're not yet done so once you have the same shape you get your um, tools and you make markings here and not not the very end just above the end just like that once you have those around your desired macaron thing you get this one or anything that you can use and then you start pinching and once you start done like this you pinch I don't know or you push like that where the line is you can see here you make a line over here and then you start pushing the, the bottom and once you're done with it um, don't worry if it's not yet um, perfect because we are not yet done we're just um, doing the whole thing around so once you're done you can see here once you're done with that you start doing this it's like it's not your you're like making a holes on it but it's not really the holes Because you can, if you already saw macarons, they have these things on the side. It's like bubbles, like that. So. We're not yet done, guys, so. Okay. Make holes over here. Once you made a mistake, don't worry about it, guys. It's a clay, so you can still fix it the way you like. So you just... Now, if your clay is a little bit sticky, like mine right now, so you just put some cornstarch on the top and on your working table. So look, you can see here, I made already like this. Well, we're not yet done the next thing you do is you gonna push it again towards the middle like that I hope you can see I hope I will see like this push it like this like that so you can see this flattens area here you push that one to the middle and you 
poke it like this. That's how you make the Now, macarons are really well known with their dark, bright color or like that. So it 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 depends on what color you like. So you can look in the internet and the Pinterest if you want some design. So. So like that guys So you just push it in the middle So you, you are like creating a bubbles And then that's the time you make it um, like perfect so you can see here we're done and you do the same thing on the bottom of the, the other clay so just repeat the process so once you're already like this guys that's the time you can um, perfect your piece or your macarons like that if you want more perfect but I think this one is already better because um, if you notice the macarons it has bubbles on the side so that looks like it so, so like that you can see so right now we're done we're done with the now we're gonna make the middle I like to make the now this is white and this is pink so your hand is pink there's pink pink there so you just use alcohol wipes to remove the pink or you can wear hand gloves but it doesn't matter but if you're gonna use again the white clay you need to remove the color of the previous one and before you do anything on your clay you must condition your clay so I run it on my pasta machine for about 30 times just to make sure it's really really conditioned because if not there's a tendency that it might break after cooking or like that So you don't need to be very thick on this one. So you get the cutter circle one. And now this is not same size. So what you're gonna do is just flatten it so that you will get the size of the desired macaron. And you put it on the top. Now it's don't. Now if you make uh, too much long, you can just remove it. Okay. So like that. Oops. So. I think this is good. You just push it with your hands or your fingers or with your tools. You'll be good. You don't need to be perfect on the middle because you're gonna put another layer of the covering of the macarons. So.
like to be like touchy touchy or you know make decorations not just so flatten because it don't look like natural on me so like this it's not really perfect over here so i like to do like that now if you have already done you put the top so now if the top and the bottom are not the same size you can just always adjust it with your hands guys like that but you make sure that it's not flat you know the the macarons are not flat it's like a little bit doom like that so I think I flattened my lower too much earlier, so okay, that's better. Now you can see. We're done and you just um, like that so that I mean make sure that the here in here are the same like that you can see but you don't need to be perfect on this because that's how macaron is If you like my video give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe thank you guys god bless